This video is going to cover how to create and save drum kits inside of MPC Beats. Check it out! What's up? My name is Matthew Stratton with MatthewCreating.com. On this channel, I'll do setup videos, tutorials, and overviews like this one, helping you make music. If you're new here, consider subscribing. MPC Beats is a free beat making software, and what's really cool about it is you can actually customize and create your own drum kits inside of MPC Beats. So I just wanna show you how you can do that. And you can actually save these kits for later recall. So if you actually wanna open up these kits in future songs, you can do that. And I'm gonna show you the whole process before we get into the video. I do wanna let you know, in the description there will be show notes, and there'll also be timestamps. So if you want timestamps for this video, check out the description below. First thing we gotta do is open up MPC Beats. Once MPC Beats is open, we need to open a project. When we're in this project, we get a new fresh program right here that we can put a drum kit on. But I do wanna let you know if you are already working on a project, you can create a new drum program at any time by pressing this plus icon. So when I press that, you can see right here, it says drum program 002. We can rename this by double clicking into that and then just typing what we want to go ahead and name this. I'm just gonna name it drums and then press enter. And now we have this renamed. So if I go ahead and click on these pads or push the pads that are in front of me, I am using the Akai MPK Mini MK3. Um, I'm gonna press those pads and you can hear that there are no sounds and we can easily remedy this by putting sounds on those pads. To do this is very simple to do. Make sure you do have your browser open. Down here at the bottom, we have a media browser, and then we got expansion browser, and then we have a file browser. Right now I'm using the media browser. In the media browser, if we go ahead and click on MPC Beats Producer Kits, that's gonna give us option to only search the files inside of MPC Producer Kits. And then we can go through you know, the type of kit, the genre of kit, the instrument family and you know what instrument down here but if you notice right here it says program so if we load any of these up now it's going to load the entire drum kit up we want to make our own so if you go ahead and click over here where it says sample that's going to give you just the actual sounds that are inside of all those programs and then at this point you can select you know through here and if the samples are a name appropriately those kind of samples will show up down here so if I wanted to go ahead and search for kicks. I can click there and you can see everything that's named kick will show up. Okay, alternatively, you could just type in here, kick, and then anything that says kick will show up. So when you're building a drum kit, you're likely going to wanna have a kick drum, a snare drum, a closed hi-hat and an open hi-hat. So that's why I type kick in here. So it's gonna give me all the kick and kick you know, is the bass drum of a drum kit. So the next thing you want to do, if you want to go ahead and automatically hear these samples as you're browsing through it, if you click right here, it's going to give you autoplay. If you don't have that turned on, when you click the sound, you're not going to hear it. But if you turn it on, when you click the sound, you're going to be able to hear that. Now, once you have a sound highlighted in there, you can use your arrow keys on your actual keyboard for your computer and just go through them. Alternatively, you can actually click over here on the side and you know look through all of those kicks you can see there's a, quite a few in here and let's say if we wanted you know just to come down here really fast and click on something okay let's say we like that kick we can go ahead and left click on it hold that mouse click down pull it onto your pad whatever pad you want so i'm going to put it on pad a01 i want to let off my finger and it's gonna drop that sound onto that pad. And you can see the name of that sound right there. And now whenever I click on that, I'm gonna hear it. Or if I hit the pad, I can hear it. You can also play the pads with your keyboard if you don't have a MIDI controller by clicking that right there. Okay, so now we got a kick in there. What we can do is type in snare. Then we could click through our snares. Okay, for the sake of the video, let's just pick this one here and you know, and we just drop it like we did before. Now we can play that. Let's go ahead and click hi-hat or hat, just type in hat. And you can see all the different hats show up. And again, we can just go ahead and go through them. All right, say we like that one, I can just click it, pull it over to pad A3 or whichever pad you want. So I loaded up a closed hi-hat and now I'm gonna load up an open hi-hat. 
So I'm gonna pull this over here onto pad A4. So now, I can play that drum kit. Now, if we listen, the hi-hat should actually kind of um, close each other off, all right, or they should mute each other. And I wanna show you how to kind of do this. So if you look over here, this is program edit. If you click that, it's gonna give you program edit. And then there's a couple ways to do this. Like we could use mute target here, or we can use mute groups. So go ahead and make sure you have the correct pad selected. So in this case, I'm picking pad three, which is the close hi hat. I wanna click right here. All right, where it says mute group and then select the first mute group. I'm gonna tap pad four and then I'm going to select the first mute group again. So listen to what happens when I hit pad four and then pad three. All right, you can hear pad three cuts off pad four. If you're finding value in this video, remember to give it a thumbs up below. It's gonna help this video get seen by those who might need to see this video. I appreciate you. All right, so we got that resolved. I'm going to go ahead and click this house up here. That's main mode. So we can go ahead and see our pads again. So now we have a kit built out using the MPC beat sounds. So what if you have your own sounds or if you bought an expansion pack from somewhere else and you wanna load them up? I wanna show you how you could go ahead and do that. If you click down here, we got a file browser. So when you click file browser, that's gonna take you to your hard drive or different places on your computer. Now, what I'm gonna do is click right here. It's gonna bring this drop down up and then personally, I have an external hard drive. So I named that hard drive MPC B002. I'm gonna click on that one. And I have a samples folder on this hard drive. So basically you just gotta find wherever your samples are on your computer or on your SD card or hard drive. And for me, that's right here. So once I click into that hard drive, I'm going to go ahead and double click into samples. And when I go into samples, I can see some of the expansion packs that I do have. I'm going to go ahead and click samples from Mars. So I have a few packs in here. I'm gonna click into that. I'm going to click 808 from Mars. Now you can see I have all the sounds that show up here, okay? Now if there was a lot of other files in here as well, you can click right here where it says sample and it's just gonna give you the samples. Now you can see these sound files are actually .wav. So I can actually load these WAV files up into my drum program. So the process to scroll through these is gonna be the same. I can click on it. Okay, as long as I have autoplay on, I'm gonna hear it. And I can use my arrow on my computer keyboard. All right, let's just say I wanna load this 808 bass drum up, okay? Just nice, simple bass drum. So I could do that, okay? Same process. And again, if I knew my file name, I could type it in here and search for it. But let's say I wanted to load up a closed hi-hat. I can click on it, drag it over just like before. I'm gonna put it right here on this pad. Let's say I want to go ahead and load up a, a clap. I can click on it, drag it over, and let's put it on this pad. So if you listen. I can go ahead and do that. Now, let's say you wanna layer some sounds up. So if I wanted to put a snare and a clap together, I could do that as well. Let's say I wanna load this snare. If I push shift on my Windows keyboard here, left click on that and just drag it over onto a pad that already has a sound on it, you can see underneath there a little red you know, rectangle shows up and I can drop it on one of these four layers. So I'm gonna drop it on the second layer right here. Now, if I hit that pad, I wanna hear that snare and that clap at the same time. All right, very simple to do. All right, so at this point, we have a drum kit that we created using some of the stock sounds and we use our own sounds from our hard drive. If we want to, we can actually save this drum kit and then we can recall it later. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you go over here to this menu, click that, go to where it says file, and then you get all these save options, right? Make sure you have your drum kit loaded onto your current track. When you do that, you can push save current program, okay? So I'm gonna press save current program. It's gonna bring up this menu and we could put this wherever you want. 
So I'm going to go ahead and select my external hard drive. And then in there, I have a folder called Programs. I'm going to double click into that. And you can see I have some programs I already created, different drum kits and stuff. If you want to stay organized, you can go a step further and create a new folder right here. And then, you know, name it Drums, press Do It. And it's going to take you into that folder. And then you can see the file name down here, drums.xpm. You can go ahead and save that. So now we actually saved this drum kit. So if I go over here, press file, new project. Okay, let's don't save that. Uh, we can go into an empty project. And then in our file browser, all right, so make sure you're actually on the file browser. Okay, we can actually pick our hard drive, go into programs, and then right here, this is the folder we created called drums. So we could double click that, go into that. Now here are our individual samples. So in order to load the program, we need to make sure that we do have right here where it says programs, make sure we do have prog selected. Okay, you can see up here it says prog, these four squares, make sure that's selected. Here's our drum kit. All right, so if I double click that, it's gonna load it into the project. And these are all the samples that we loaded onto the pads and here are all the pads, so. We have all the sounds right there in the drum kit that we can load up at any time. Hope you found value in this video. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, click or tap the screen over here. It's gonna take you to another video about MPC beats so you can go ahead and keep the journey going, continue making music. My name is Matthew, I appreciate you for watching. We'll talk soon.